Hello my wonderful friends, Megus with you on a beautiful day in Asha and I just wanted to thank everyone for the birthday wishes yesterday. You guys gave me so much love and I'm so grateful and today there's so much I want to talk about. We're going to talk about crystals, we're going to talk about astrology. I'm going to read to you for the first time from my favorite book ever, The Teachings of the Magi. This book absolutely changed my life. I'm going to save that for the very end though. In November, the stone associated uh, with that is the yellow topaz or the citrine. And you know I love the color orange and it represents the sun. And a beautiful synchronicity is Ahura Mazda is represented as the sun and, and it's life giving and, and the fire brings purity and this is a stone for creative energy it, it's associated with our solar plexus and a beautiful thing here's a natural citrine and then here's a heat treated citrine they'll take purple amethyst and then they heat treat it and it removes all the impurities and it makes me think because of the purple color it makes me think that we are royalty right we're children of the most high and that we we go through the fire don't we and it burns out the impurities and we come this beautiful orange burning sun and we become sons of God of course we always are I mean we come from good spirit we're made of good spirit we are one and what a beautiful representation of that and so today what I want to do is um, I want to pull a card and, and get a direction of what spirit is trying to show us today and then I'm going to wrap it up with a, a reading I promise you will not be disappointed from my favorite book the teachings of the magi that's a 2600 year old Magi text that I got the uh, uh, um, stories from for the book Asha. And of course, I've got, I mean, stacks and stacks of the Zoroastrian text throughout thousands of years, and it all went into those 16 statements and teachings. So let's. <laughs> Every time, my friends, that popped out on my lap again, the Four of Swords. Every time, oh my God. I, I just, as you get older, you get my age, and you start to see the synchronicities taking place all around you, the magic that is all around you, it'll blow your mind. My friends, we got the Two of Pentacles. This is pretty cool, and I'll tell you why. The Two of Pentacles, this represents Jupiter and Capricorn, and on December 2nd, Jupiter is coming out of Sagittarius and going in to Capricorn and it's a beautiful energy of course Jupiter loves being in Sagittarius that's its home sign and and this energy this month oh my god has been so powerful um, I mean a lot of shadow work going on but Jupiter's an expansive energy and we just we've been growing and, and it can almost seem overwhelming like a wild ride uh, and Jupiter and Capricorn though it's very harmonious very balanced you'll see the man here he's balancing two pentacles uh, in the infinity sign and, and the waves and the ships behind him they're being tossed back and forth so there, there's a change coming but he's maintaining the balance and, and Jupiter and Capricorn it, it is that expansive growth but it, it's that Capricorn energy that's very grounded it's, it, it's very harmonious very balanced and then we're actually going to kind of touch on that today in the reading of the teachings of the Magi on balance and those of you that have been following me for years you, you might remember me saying that I don't teach on balance and moderation because I don't have any and I didn't feel right talking about it something that I don't know anything about but over the last year or so I've been really learning about the importance of moderation and balance and it makes things go so much smoother and this card, it's about change, and I, I want to talk a little bit more about it because I, I keep getting more beautiful uh, insights into this card and how it's going to kind of go in with our reading also. But my friends, there's different seasons in life, and as we go from like a child to the teen years, to adult, uh, to our older years, our golden years, we obtain wisdom and reason and understanding and that's kind of the riches that we get and I've noticed through my life through the most uh, I mean times that I struggled and and were hard I got the 
biggest lessons, the biggest changes in my life. When, Like I talked about yesterday, when my legs were completely knocked out from under me was the time that I grew the most. And, and so we can look at this time of change that is coming as an opportunity for growth and wisdom and to become the best version of ourselves and to ve- change our very DNA that we're going to pass on to the next generations and when you look at it that way it really is quite beautiful it takes the fear away we can still grow and be expansive but we're grounded in that capricorn energy so beautiful i love that i love how those synchronicities work out like that and now my friends i'm going to read to you it's from the den cart out of the teachings of the magi and and those of you that know me know this orange book changed my life it it inspired me to write my orange book asha and um orange has become such a huge part of my life i mean and even looking back like my birthstone the citrine you know uh it's it's funny how it all just comes together and Like I said, as I get older, I see just the magic and the synchronicities. It gives you such a peace and a hope for the future because you know, do you know what? Spirit has me. Uh, You know, I don't have to worry. I don't have to be afraid or scared. Everything is going to work out because Spirit is all around me. Spirit is in me and guiding me. And I will get to my good, my God, because good God is omnipresent it's here right now. And I'm going to start uh, with the dent cart. And and this is on innate wisdom. Get this. Stay with me to the end of this. I promise you, you're going to love this. You're going to get something, my friends. You're going to change your life today. It says the good religion is innate wisdom, our reason. Oh my God, I could stop right there and just dance and sing and shout. Everything is right there. The good religion the good belief is innate. It's inside of us. That wisdom, that God wisdom is in us. And it's reason. It's reasonable. It makes sense. Haven't we gotten tired of our whole life being brought up in the matrix religions and they tell you these ridiculous stories that don't make sense and they tell you, well, you can't understand it. You just have to have faith. My friends, good spirit makes sense. It's reasonable and you can understand. It's so beautiful. It says the forms and virtues of innate wisdom are of the same stock as innate wisdom itself. These forms and virtues are begotten of the good mind, the God mind. So my friends, form and matter is formed by the good mind, God mind. So in truth, a perfect creator made perfect form, a perfect world, a perfect you. That's the highest truth. And that's what I love about this Sagittarian energy right now in November. Sagittarius, it's all about the highest truth, right? uh, Sagittarians are truth seekers. That's the arrow always aiming up and we want the highest truth. And and that's what this is talking about. When you get the God mind, the good mind, the Christ mind, Vohu main you, you create the form out of that wisdom and wisdom makes good form of peace and love and joy, power, freedom, all the good things that we desire. It goes on to say, false religion is ruinous heresy, and the forms and vices of ruinous heresy are of the same vile stock as ruinous heresy itself. These forms and vices of ruinous heresy are misbegotten of the evil mind. So all the evil you see in the world that you don't like, hate, war, your spouse cheating on you, just the horrible things in life that you don't like, it comes from the evil mind, the wrong thoughts, the wrong feelings, emotions, attitudes held, the wrong vibration. And that's what this is going to get us back to. The original ohm, the original vibration, the original idea of the perfect creator. When we get back to that and we're vibrating that, that's what we create. We can create it individually in our own homes. But if we come together collectively with this idea, my friends, the world will change back to Asha, the highest truth the perfect creator's perfect idea, heaven on earth. It says, for the original seed of the good religion is the, and, and know that seed, it's an energy here we're talking about. And what it, you can think of it like a seed that you plant in the ground and it has a harvest. When we plant good seed, good energy, when we vibrate high, 
That's what we create. Remember what the Christ said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he who holds my vibration has God life. We got to hold that vibration. We have to become unconditional love, peace, joy, power, freedom. No matter what's going on around us, we hold that and we create that. We rule the air. We create our atmosphere. It says false re religion is manifested in heresy, conformity with heresy, and that which has heresy for its matter. So again, it's just saying if you hold those uh, evil thoughts, you're going to have evil in your world. It's quite simple. It says the fruits and benefits of the good religion. And that's what we want. What is the fruits and benefits of the good religion, of the good mind, whose sphere of influence in the mixed state is in man consistent in the strengthening of good character of the virtues in man. Okay, so here we get, this is really cool. Stay with me. We're going to talk about the mixed state now. So there's a state of Vohu menu, the all good mind, and then there's a state of the evil mind, and each one of those produce fruit. Each one of those seeds produce a harvest. But also here in the realm of man on earth, there's a mixed state. And this is what I call the dark system, the matrix, the matrix religions, right? They're gods and they're books and they're what they call holy texts. They're they're mixed with the good and evil. So their their god can send good and evil, can create and destroy, can love and hate, can be at peace and war. And that's exactly what our world looks like today. The fruit of the harm of the false religion, whose evil sphere of influence in the pure state is among the demons, consists in their pouring out adversary adversity in order to destroy the material world and to damage creatures. My friends, you will see even with the matrix religions, with the matrix politics, it brings damage to the earth, to the man, and even to animals. It, it, it's of the demons. How do you know? Because it hates, wars, kills, destroys, makes sad, hurts. It, it, we know good is good and bad is bad. We need to make that separation. And this is where mankind has been fooled by believing that God, the highest principle of good, can hate, war, kill. And destroy. When we make that separation, separation between Vohu Menu, the good mind, and the evil mind, that they, it's not the same. They're not combined. They're not mixed. We make that separation. We come in and hold only the good mind, God mind. We vibrate our true identity. That divine spark from Vashi in you, it's pure. It's beautiful. And my friends, we'll create that in our world. It says, the essence of the good religion is the wisdom of Ahura Mazda, and his wisdom consists in bestowing, knowing, and doing. Its matter is omniscience, righteousness, truth, asha, towards all things, and giving to all things what is proper to them. This is the character of Ahura Mazda. Its function is to heal creation. Isn't that what we want to do? We want to heal creation. We want to stop all the wars. We want to stop the hate and the killing and the sadness and the tragedies. And we can do that. We have a map of exactly what needs to take place. And with all these astrological energies, my friends, this is the time to do it. It is a real thing that you can do and start today in your own life. Its operation is summed up in recognizing by knowledge the potentialities that are in created things and by action in putting them to their proper use. So this is seeing God good in people, in animals, in yourself. And when you see that potential, that truth in them, you draw that out. My God, can you hear my phone? I've been getting these wonderful birthday messages from you guys nonstop. I feel so loved. I can't even express how much I love you guys. You guys are such a blessing. And yesterday in, in that video, I, I shared things with you, very personal things. And I, I was a little worried that you might look at me different or not love me the same or as much. But it was the opposite. You guys just rallied around me and gave me so much love and, and so grateful for you guys. But that you probably heard my phone just absolutely going off over there. Okay, so let's pick up. It goes on to say, uh, uh, mum, and in healing creatures, both materially and spiritually. Uh, okay, so I, I got to pull out Asha 13 here. This goes so perfect with that. The healing spiritually and material. So we have to have a healing that takes place spiritually. When we heal our vibration, 
by cosmic law, you don't have to do anything. If you just vibrate right, you change the material world and form. In, in Asha 13, it says the original word of the good religion. So this is the original vibration. When they say word in these old texts, it's vibration, it's energy. So the original uh, vibration, thought, idea, word is that all good comes from the creator and no evil comes from him. It's so simple, so beautiful. I get excited. And from this original word vibration, your spiritual world is made straight and your material world is brought into order. And, and that's the teaching. The statement of Asha 13 is good is good, bad is bad. If you get nothing else in this life, if you can wrap your mind around that good is good and bad is bad, you have it all. That's why everyone asks me, what's my favorite statement in teaching in Asha? It's Asha 13, because everything is right there. The original word, and we hold that vibration, that word, and we create our form and matter. It goes on to say that the original word of false religion is that evil comes from the Creator. And this false idea is all the evil creatures suffer. My friends, if we just get rid of the idea that evil can come from good spirit, all the suffering of the world will end. It's that simple. I'm going to say it again. If we can get rid of the idea that evil comes from good spirit, all the suffering in the world will will end. Why is that? Because I told you yesterday, remember in my birthday message, if you didn't see it, please go back and watch it. Um, but you'll never rise above your highest idea of good God. Uh, you can't do it. You have to expand your idea of good God. If your idea of God hates, wars, kills, destroys, gets angry, gets jealous, you know, that's what your life is going to look like. But when you restore his image that he's all good, love, peace, joy, kindness, and nothing can change his nature, my friends. That's just what he is. And you then take on that image. You realize you come from that good spirit. You're made of that good spirit. That's your pure, true self, your true identity. And you start to live from that place and vibrate from that place and create from that place. You make Asha by cosmic law. It's so simple and so beautiful, my friends. So, so I hope you enjoyed it. This is Asha by Winston Hedge, you can get it at Amazon. Um, the Teachings of the Magi by R.C. Zayner. You can try to get this. They're not cheap. I've seen some copies out there for two, three hundred bucks. Um, but I'm telling you, just get my book Asha by Winston Hedge at Amazon. Uh, I put into 16 statements and teachings what this is what this is saying what all my other zoroastrian books are saying trying to make it so simple in 16 statements and teachings i make no money off of it um i give all the money to charity uh we've been given to saint jude the last few times because i really have a heart for it we've given to the homeless blankets food you know it goes to good causes i don't want no money for it i want the world to change to Asha. That's what I want to see. I want to see Asha actualized first in your life, then in your family, and then in our world as a community. My friends, will you help me grow Zoroastrianism? Will you help me grow the idea of a perfect creator who had a perfect thought and idea and you in truth are perfect. You're not your past mistakes and failures. You are perfect, pure spirit and you can change the very DNA in you passed down from generations. Maybe there's anger issues or fears or addictions that are in your, in your, in your form, but that's not who you are, my friends. And we're going to start bringing out because I see in you that God potentiality inside of you. We're going to bring that out. We're going to create out of that, and we're going to make a beautiful world. My friends, you know this. I love you. I love you. I love you. We'll see you next time. As above, so below, as within, is within your time.